Hi and welcome back to eScoutmodels.com. In this new series, I'll be building Tamiya's Ferrari F40 out of the box with some additional details. I hope you can join me. When building car models, uh, one of the first things I normally start with is just prepping the body. Now, with Tamiya's F40, it comes with two parts. So it's good, it's always good practice to sort of see what the fit looks like just to determine where you know some extra filling of gaps may be required. Now what you're looking for in this stage, one of the first things, is what is called flash or sink marks. Now Tamiya kits are renowned for the good quality moulding, but even so you will get a little flash that needs to be removed. Uh, and what a flash mark looks like, just a little raised line which runs along the length of a model. Now just you can see this with the naked eye you may just pick it up on camera but if you run your finger along the surface there you just see a faint raised line. Now the way to remove that I normally get um, a sanding stick start with the coarser side and just gently rub that line back until you just can't feel it with your finger anymore. And it takes a few minutes, but the results are definitely worthwhile. Because what happens with the, as you build layers of paint on these models, um, that line will just become more pronounced, and in the end it will really detract uh, from what could be an otherwise really nice model. So just working my way progressively to the finer grits um, and that line is just about gone now. This kit is actually quite very nice recessed panel lines, they're quite thick uh, to begin with. So I won't do anything here but you'll find that some other kits, uh, the panel lines like the doors and lights may not be very pronounced, they may, they may be very faint. Uh, it's a good, again another good practice to just run something like a, 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 a modelling knife just along those panel lines just to deepen them so they don't get lost under uh, multiple coats of paint. But we won't have to do that. I'm, I'm quite happy with the way the panel lines uh, are on this particular kit. Uh, so I'll just continue just fixing up some of the flash and seam lines that may be on this kit. Now sink marks, Tammy always do a good job of actually hiding them and 9 out of 10 times they won't be seen on the actual model but they're little bubble like circles uh, which are part of the moulding process um, which is a result of actually the, the, you know, the parts being pushed out of the, uh, the moulds. So there's just a little one here which I'll uh, attempt to just lightly sand back um, but as that won't be visible, um, especially as I'm thinking of probably putting some heat shield type material over this. Uh, I won't spend too much time trying to clean up these little the holes. But again, on some kits you may see that quite prominent, uh, and you your best bet is to just putty that over, sand it back uh, until you're happy with the results. The next step in our body preparation actually takes place uh, in our sink here. What we want to do is uh, rem remove any mould release agents that may be present on the kit. So for that what we want is just some uh, lukewarm tap water with just a drop of detergent, dishwashing detergent. Uh, just an old toothbrush, which won't be used for anything else. And just a little water will do it. And just gently scrub the body of the kit entirely, uh, concentrating on any of the panel lines, just to make sure we remove any uh, residue sanding material that we may have there from our previous step. Rinse it off, making sure remove all the soap and 
and just leave that aside to air dry. And then we can move on to the next step. The model is dry and we're now ready for our next step. Uh, what I use is just an old metal clothesline which I've bent into shape uh, just to hold my model steady while I uh, prime and paint. I normally go into the backyard for this particular step which is to prime the body uh, with Mr. Surfacer. Tonight you may actually be able to hear the wind behind me, it's a pretty breezy night so I thought I'd uh, have a go. I've got both doors open partially to let some circulation through. Um, what I've done is decanted some Tamiya surface primer, white, into uh, a jar which I've poured into my airbrush. The way I do that is I have uh, this little tube attached to a nozzle uh, from a, an old WD-40 can, uh, which is an oil lubricant. So I took that off, gave it a clean, and what I'd normally do is just pop the top off your um, spray surface primer, uh, place it on top, get some tape over the jar, punch a hole through it with the hose and just spray into it. So I've got that set up. My airbrush here, and uh, I'll begin just spraying. Okay, now that the primer is dry, the next step is to just rub this back a bit just to get rid of any uh, dust that may have settled on here or, and trying to get the surface as smooth as possible. Um, we'll also be looking for any seam lines that we may have missed, um, and depending on how we go, we may or may not give it another coat of primer. So what I've got here is some 600 grit uh, wet and dry paper. Um, what I'll do, is just gently rub the primer coat. And you don't want to overdo it, just be very careful over any of the raised edges. So here we go. Uh, now that's sanded back quite smoothly. Uh, you'll notice that I've actually sanded through some high edges here where I found uh, few lines of uh, flash and some mold lines that I um, that I miss sanding prior to priming. Um, that's all okay. Uh, you expect to see that after your first coat of primer. So what will happen now, I'll let that sit there and just dry off. Um, then we'll follow it up with one or two more coats of primer. Uh, just make sure that we've removed any blemish uh, and we'll be ready for our first coat of the base coat. Now, the reason we're doing this in my backyard is that we're trialling East Coast Models' own line of paints, which is a Ferrari's Rosso Corsa. Uh, it's a two-pack paint, so I want as much ventilation as I can whilst I'm wearing my mask. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes or so, and the East Coast Models' Rosso Corsa is ready for uh, a clear coat. Again, we're going to be using a 2K automotive quality uh, gloss coat for this, so I'm outdoors. 